What happened to this country? Used to be beautiful women of childbearing age wanted a stud like me. Now they want beta male cucks and wimps. Used to be you could work hard and make something of yourself. Now you're better off on the dole, a burden to society. Excuse me. Oh, can you please recycle that? That's going to end up Used in a to be somewhere. a man could be a man. Nowadays, you're lucky to afford the rent on a postage stamp apartment. Everyone got too greedy. Everyone has their hand out. Women, blacks, chicos, queers, he, she's, geezers, cripples, you name it. All of them. They just take, take, take until a man, a man like me, doesn't know how to be a man anymore. The whole order of society is crumbling, and the only ones who can fix it get the shaft day after day after day after day. And the cucks? They just want to give it all away. Sometimes, I think I'm the last white man alive. and one that I sure hope comes true. It will. Stay tuned. Opening tip-off is coming up next. We're your local TV sports. Channel 9, active news. South Jersey's most trusted source for the news that matters most. With Daphne... We're not going to watch the game? Eh. Mm. I'm going to watch the game in my room. Goomba's Pizza for pickup or delivery. Okay, go ahead. I don't know, Ben. I just... I don't know. I feel like I was born in the wrong decade. Two liter of Coke? I felt like that before. Yeah, it just seems like it's hard for a guy to get a fair shake anymore. If we don't deliver in 30 minutes or less, then the pizza will be free. Yeah. Listen, Carl, you gotta... Look, I like having you work for me, but you gotta get a better job than this. You got your degree, don't you? Yeah. Business administration. 
You should be managing an office somewhere. You shouldn't be no pizza jockey living off tips. You're pushing 30. All my other guys are they're in school. You don't want to be living with your mom forever, do you? That's what I'm saying, and having a degree doesn't guarantee anything anymore. Not like when you were my age. Son, nothing is guaranteed to no one. Never has been, never will be. That's what Reagan used to preach. Personal responsibility. You want something, you gotta take it. Listen, if you want to get out of here in time, you better go out back and clean the mats. Even a guy like Vinny doesn't understand how things are today. Doesn't understand how you get the squeeze from all sides. Doesn't understand how a girl like Lindsay would rather go out with a beta than a real man. Ah, <sighs> Lindsay. of our youth, getting it so everyone is so mixed up they can't even see when everything they want is right in front of them. Lindsay comes here every day to expand her mind, but she's just getting brainwashed in an echo chamber. That's why she left me. That's why she won't text me back. It's more than a garden variety shit test. She wants someone weak. I'm too strong for her. I need a woman who wants a real man. Third wave feminism is bullshit. Just man-hating dykes who want to castrate their men before they peg them. She needs to change, not me. The whole world needs to go back to the way it was. Lindsay can get with the program or be left behind. They broke the promises. If you went to college, you were supposed to get a good job. If you got a good job, you were supposed to be able to earn a living. Buy a house, get a dog, get a wife, have some kids. You were supposed to be happy. A chicken in the pot and two cars in the garage. The American dream. And now it's gone. They're so worried about helping the disenfranchised, they disenfranchised everyone else. There isn't enough to go around. And now I'm, on the outside, looking in. Yeah, what's the damage? Uh, uh, <clears throat> 2572. Just give me four back.
28 cents is all I'm worth? To filth like that? <laughs> the fabric of society has eroded so much that a man like me has to bend the knee to the likes of him. All for a pittance. Scumbag is probably on the dole, too. Motherfucker can't afford a tip, he shouldn't be ordering delivery. Just another drain on society. If he worked half as hard on getting a job as he works on his pecs, he could actually contribute something to the world. Son of a bitch just hit me 28 cents. Jesus, Carl, you scared the shit out of me. Son of a bitch just hit me 28 cents. Yeah. I hate when that happens. Jesus. Brayden. Brayden. What are you doing tonight? Uh, nothing. I, I'm just going home. You're not doing anything? Friday night, a young guy like you, huh? Look. Yeah, okay. I'm going to a party, but I can't bring you, Carl. I mean, that's fine. I, I don't want to go anyway. I'm just making conversation. Look, listen. Last time, some of the girls said you made them feel uncomfortable. What? Yeah. And if I'm being honest, Make me feel uncomfortable too, man. I'm sorry. Cock.
How's it hanging, Vin? Dragging on the floor, pal. How about you? Yeah, I'm feeling fantastic. That's good to hear you've been so down in the dumps lately. Yeah, I've been having problems with my girl. I figured as much. Only one thing get a guy that upset is a woman. You work it all out? Not yet, but I got a plan. Yeah? I'm gonna do a grand romantic gesture. That's great, kid. Unfreeze that frigid bitch. <laughs> Any advice? The only thing I can say is be persistent. Don't give up. Just keep at it. The only time I uh, ever got hung up on a board was Phyllis. Persistence. Never quitting. The cucks don't get it. They're too caught up in giving away everything they've got. That's not the American way. It's like Ben said, when you want something, you gotta take it. So I uh, finally broke up with Lindsay for good. What? Yeah, yeah, it's a real shame because she was a real hellcat in the sack. You know, but she was way too clingy. Always needing to know where I was and what I was doing all the time. Look, I can't be chained down, so threw her over. Dude, are you serious? Of course. Look, I know guys like you probably wouldn't understand giving the boot to a prime piece of tail like Lindsay, but guys like me, <laughs> We do it all the time. <laughs> Dude! Dude! Susie broke up with you! Like six months ago! Wait till we tell her! Uh, <laughs> Grand romantic gesture didn't work out, son. She's sort of stubborn. But it's like you said, you gotta be persistent. I'm already planning my next grand romantic gesture. Maybe this one is better to let go. No, no, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Hey, look kid, we got an order up from uh, 
1100 Fish Pond, apartment 235. You taking it? I got it. No. No, I want Carl to take it. I got this one. Sit down and shut up. Carl's taking it. Go ahead, kid. How you doing? Uh, it's uh, 1637. Um, keep the change. Thanks. Tell me about your feminist agenda. What? Oh. <laughs> The shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd very much like to hear about that. Maybe some other time. How much? Oh, uh, ten eighty-five. You can keep the change. You sure? Yeah. Well, until next time. Yeah. Uh.
Hey. You've been ordering a lot of takeout this week. Yeah, I wonder why. Best pizza and sandwiches around. Handsomest delivery driver around, too. <laughs> it's, uh, 1621. For the pizza. Keep it. <laughs> See you tomorrow? No, I'm, I'm day shift tomorrow. Oh. Uh, well, maybe we can meet up somewhere? Uh... <laughs> um, I, uh, I already have plans. Yeah, okay. Sorry. No, no worries. Yeah, maybe another time. Okay, sure. Mm hmm Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Right. Oh, God. Eleven hundred fish pond apartment two three five has been ordering from us a lot this week. Three nights in a row. Last night she asked if the uh, same driver was on as the night before. I think maybe you uh, you got a new one on the hook, Carl. Is she a looker? Yeah, she's beautiful. She's waiting for you to make a move. She asked me out last night. All right. <laughs> no. I told her I already had plans. Why? Uh, what? I, um, she's... She's... Black. <laughs> Son, there ain't nothing wrong with a little jungle fever. You said she was beautiful. Yeah. She tipped? Generously. So what's the difference? What if it's true what they say? What if... What if once you go black, you never go back? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a jungle bunny wife? No. So there you go. I used to run around with black broads all the time back in the day. Black girls, white powder, Reaganomics. That was the 80s. Now I got a white wife, and I don't do anything harder than a, a glass of Johnny Walker now and then. But the economy is shit. Win some, lose some. Anyway, next time you deliver to her, make your move. Ooh, were these for me? Kevin, I told you I had it. Hi. Is this him? You're right, he looks like a fine hunk of man. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you had a husband. <clears throat> <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> Look, I'm really flattered, but I'm not into swinging, so... Oh, what? No, no, we're not married, we're just friends friends yeah look I'm more likely to be your husband than hers Stop. that'll be 2916 ooh all business uh, you can keep that are those for me uh, um, yeah. thanks <laughs> Do you maybe want to go out sometime? I'm free tomorrow. I'll pick you up at 8. Okay. Uh, wait. Yes? I don't know your name. 
Oh, it's uh, Carl. Carl Gordon. Keisha Booker. Nice to officially meet you, Carl. Carl Gordon. <laughs> He's a bit of a stiff. Yeah, but in a cute way. You and your project. Oh, it's not a project. Keisha Booker. Keisha. Keisha. Keisha and Carl. Carl and Keisha. The Kevin situation could fuck this all up. She's a twofer. She's a woman. She's a black. On top of that, a homo friend. Big, beefy homo friend that wants to fuck me. Ha! Let him try it. Well, hi. Howdy. What, no flowers? Oh, I... Carl, <laughs> relax. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, after you, uh, my lady. Thanks. Don't you think we're a little overdressed for a pizza parlor? Oh, nonsense. Besides, I thought Goombas was your favorite. Carl, I only kept ordering to see you. You know, I'm third cousin to future president, Cory Booker. No, I didn't vote for him. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm kidding. You don't have to be so nervous, Carl. Relax. <laughs> so are you in school or...? Mm. No, I graduated in 2012. In business administration. Oh. Well, why didn't you pursue that? I mean, the job market's so bad. Oh, I know what you mean. I went to school for film. Got out and there were no jobs. Nothing in South Jersey anyway. So what is it you do? I'm the director of community relations and brand awareness for Fleminger Direct Media. Fleminger? Yeah. We do marketing and advertising for pharmaceutical companies. I kind of looked into it. I had a friend there, Kevin. How fortuitous, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm doing okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
they might need people with your degree there. You should check out the site, see if they have any openings. And you can say you know me. I'll look into it. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my good man. Yeah, sure. No, I got it. <clears throat> Are you sure? Yeah, I got it. I mean, we can split it. No, no, don't be silly. I, I got it. Really? We? I, no, I, I, no, no. I got it. Okay. Carl Gordon, you may kiss me goodnight. Equal opportunity employer? Equal opportunity for who? Not for me. So this guy comes to the door in overalls, no shirt, huge house, no tip. He paid an exact change. I couldn't believe it. You must deal with a lot of crazies. Yeah, here and there. Don't you ever get scared? Like, you don't know who's answering the door. No, not at all. I'd be terrified. Especially on a day like today, what would happen in Missoula. Mm, yeah, horrible tragedy. Yeah. Especially since it all could have been avoided if we had some type of sensible gun control. So, a responsible gun owner like myself should be punished because of a few bad guys? I mean, what would you do if, if people decided that drunk driving was such an issue that, that uh, we should ban alcohol in cars? It's not the same, at all. First of all, no one's really talking about banning guns altogether. But why does anyone need an assault rifle? Real assault rifles are illegal in America. Assault rifle, as you mean it, was a political term created in the 80s to ban semi-automatic sporting rifles in California. Whatever. Sporting rifle, assault rifle, either way people are dying needlessly. I own a sporting rifle. I love spending time at the range. I should have that taken from me? If it saves even just one life, isn't it worth it? Okay, look, I'm sorry I brought it up. It's clearly a sore subject for the both of us. Mm.
้งหมดไอ้ที่ไม่เข้าใจว่าฉันต้องเปลี่ยนเพราะใครสักคนคนหนึ่งตัดสินใจฉันไม่เข้าใจไม่เป็นไรสองพีนัทวิ่งไปที่บาร์หนึ่งของพวกมันถูกฆ่าตายคุณน่ารักมาก <laughs> oh, it's freezing out here. You want to head back to my place? Get out of the cold. Thought you'd never ask. You sure you don't want anything besides water, beer, wine, iced tea? No, water is fine. Thank you. <sighs> I am so ready for the weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> I had a really tough week. <laughs> Can't wait to sleep in. <laughs> Weekends are usually the busiest days for me. Yeah. Yeah, lots of deliveries. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> like I love my job and everything, but I'm always ready for the weekend. I guess I just never really saw myself in marketing, you know. I mean, it's so analytical, and I guess I just never saw myself as that kind of person. I always thought my creative side was a lot stronger. I guess I just never really saw myself doing this as a kid. Hmm. How about you? What do you mean? When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, I always had a strong mind for business. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm not. It's just, it's so practical. It's adorable. But like, as a kid, what did you want to be? As far back as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a small business owner. Okay. So, in kindergarten, when little Carl had to do a project on what he wanted to be when he grew up, it said small business owner. Yes, and I have it laminated on a poster in my classroom somewhere to prove it. <laughs> You're funny. I'm not kidding. I'd like to see that someday. <laughs> Then I will show you. Okay. <laughs> so, what kind of business? Uh, business. Uh, a business. <laughs> like what? <laughs> You know, uh, I don't like a like a business. <sighs> well, like a a Hooters franchise or uh... come on, Carl. I'm serious. What did little Carl dream about? <sighs> I don't know. I I. I... <laughs> I always want to be my own boss. Okay. You know the American dream. Self-reliant, self, self-sufficient. American dream. <laughs> well, I'm not asking about the American dream. I'm asking about the Carl dream. What? Is it embarrassing or something? Look, I'm I'm sorry I laughed. I really didn't mean to. I really want to know. Come on, you can trust me. I wanted to make movies since I was ten. 
I used to take my dad's camcorder and make these little stories with my Barbie dolls. <laughs> and then later on, the neighborhood kids would come over and we'd make movies. And ever since then, that's what I wanted to do. I even went to college for it. And what happened? Things don't always work out, you know. I couldn't afford to move to L.A. I hate New York and North Jersey. And then I got the job at Fleminger. But you can still move, though. I mean, you must have money saved by now. Yeah, but I can't leave my mom. Yeah. Yeah, my mother needs me as well. Okay, well, I showed you mine, now you show me yours. What kind of business? What did you dream about? You can tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I never really thought about it. I never, I still don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carl. I don't mean to upset you. <laughs> what? Oh. I, um, I should go. I, I have an early shift tomorrow. Breakfast deliveries. <laughs> Well, we should do dinner again sometime soon. Yeah, dinner. Yeah, dinner. Yes, that's that's a that's a splendid idea. Hey. Everything's going to be okay. Good night. Good night. Hey, man. It's, uh, 1647. What? Pizza? You brought me a pizza? You ordered it. <laughs> nah, man, I'm done taking orders. Uh, no, you, you called and, and ordered a pizza. This is the basement of 22 Constitution Road, right? That's my address, man. Babe! Stop hassling the pizza boy. Pizza man. You ordered this boy to bring me a pizza? I ordered a pizza, yeah. Come inside, man. Uh, no, that's all right. It's, uh, 1647. I don't want to leave you out in the cold while I go get the money. I'll wait. Come inside, goddammit! Put the pizza on the table, man. Get the change, man. Thanks. Wait, don't you want a slice? Ah, uh, no, no, I'm working. Let him go, Rodney. Bitch, don't tell me what to do. Don't talk to me like that. It's been eight years and some deads are getting shot at to come back here and get told what to do by some skank. Someone needs to be housebroken. <sighs> the 
We'll talk about this later. I have to go now. <clears throat> Thank you for your service. Women never want you for the man that you are. They want you for the man they think you can be. It's one giant shit test. And you gotta play their game to get what you want from them. That makes it easier. All you gotta do is figure out who they want you to be. She's getting ready. Come on in. You, uh, you want a beer or anything? Do you live here? No. Why are you here? Well, Keish knew she was going to be a while getting ready, so she invited me over to let you in. Huh. Do you want a beer? Sure. Nice bolo tie. What? Your bolo tie. I like it. I'm not wearing a, a bolo tie. So, uh, Keish said you were interested in applying for Fleminger? Yeah. Thinking about it. Cool. 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 Well, uh, if you do, let her know. I could probably talk to my buddy in HR. Hey. Hey. Oh, thanks, Carl. Let me put these in the water. Hey, I just had an idea. What's that? Why don't we order in? The three of us. Uh, actually, I, I don't want to intrude or anything. <laughs> Nonsense. I insist. Keish is in a bit of a dress town kind of mood anyway. I can loosen my tie. We'll get takeout. Casual. It's not a bad idea. All right, I, I, I guess I'll stay. We can order from Goombas. Great. It'll be like a clan meeting. Carl, Keisha, Kevin. Oh. <laughs> oh. KKK. Clever. You spell Carl with a K? Of course. I'll call. Pizza. 
You're not hungry? Oh, I'm famished. He's hardly touched anything. Ah. So, Cabo, you seeing anyone? Not at the moment, no. Hmm. You look at Brayden? He delivered the food. I didn't, actually. Oh. He's a good-looking kid. I think he might be one of yours. One of mine? You know, like a... Sorry, I'm not into fix-ups. Mm, that's too bad. Oh, please. I, uh, I've been thinking, I think I decided what kind of business I want to start. Oh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll be really into it. A movie theater. That sounds really cool, Carl. Mm. I actually just thought You know, I was actually doing some internet browsing on the subject today, and uh, I came across an ad for Planned Parenthood. So, I made a pretty sizable donation. Anonymous, of course. I've also been doing a lot of thinking about your stance on guns, Geese. And, uh, you know, I think I'm really coming around to the idea of a sensible gun regulation. Good for you, Carl. I have to go to the bathroom. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I mean, he was weird and awkward before, but in a cute way. He's fucking crazy. All right, you got her right where you want her. She thinks you're a friend of the queers. She thinks you're a feminist. She definitely wants to fuck you. Hey. <laughs> so what do you say we uh, take this party into the bedroom? Carl, Kevin is still here. So I will ask him to leave. No, I don't want to be rude. Keisha, come on. Why don't you say we call it a night? Fine. Go. She'd rather hang out with a Nancy boy than spend the night with a stud? <laughs> the echo chambers really warped her mind. good about themselves, pat themselves on the back, and Kevin gets a free ride. Meanwhile, I have to kill myself delivering pizzas.
I live with my mom while he gets this mansion all to himself. He gets to bring his gay boys over to his swanky fuck pad whenever he wants. It's not fair. It's just not fair. In order of traditional wings, uh, what kind of sauce do you want? We have buffalo, we have traditional. Uh, How's things going, going, kid? Get a taste of that uh, chocolate yet? Okay. Yeah, buffalo it is. Will that be the 15 or 25? I want balls deep in that pussy, man. Okay, 25. Balls deep. See? A black woman is built to fuck. Okay, all three. Enjoy it now before you have to settle down. Get it in. Oh, oh I will get it in. Okay. I will get it in. I'm sorry, Keisha. I just thought. Thought what? No, I thought if I had helped them find a date, you'd think I was cool. What? You don't need to act any kind of way to make me think you're whatever. You were weird last night. Really weird. Yeah, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Let's meet somewhere today. I want a chance to make it up to you. <sighs> Noah. Stop! No! What is wrong with you? What? Uh, look, I wanted to do this in person and in a public place. I don't want to see you again. What? We're just not compatible, Carl. I mean, your gun thing, that weird Planned Parenthood comment, the KKK joke. You clearly have a problem with Kevin, I guess because he's gay, I don't know. No, Keisha, I just want it to be what you wanted me to be. What? No, I didn't want you to be anything but honest. I clearly misjudged you. We're just not compatible. I'm sorry. Keisha, wait, wait, wait. Let wait, go wait, of wait. me. No, no, Keisha, Let Keisha, go of no. me. Keisha, I walk away from you. You don't walk away from me. You know, if you would just open your mind to new ideas, I could show you so much. I really could, but the world is so much bigger than this little feminist bubble that you put yourself in. And you can't handle it. You can't, that's why you're such a fag hag. You can't handle being with a real man, you nigger bitch. You know, you're sick, Carl, you know that? I, I thought, I don't know, I thought you needed to be unwound a little bit, but you really need help. Fuck you. Humiliated. In front of cucks, betas, and losers. There's only so much I can take. There's only so much a man can allow and still call himself a man. I need to talk to you. Carl, I told you, if you did this again, I'd call the cops. No, you're the only one who understands me. Please. Look, can we just go to my car just to talk? Whatever you have to say, you can say it here. Can we at least walk over to where they can't hear us? What? Lindsay, I just... I don't know anymore. You know, I don't... I'm all alone. All the time. You know, I, I, I don't have any friends. No one likes me, and I don't know why. You know, I try to be myself, and no one likes me. I try to be like other people, and no one likes me. No matter what I do, I can't win. You know, Keisha hates me. Keisha? Some black girl I've been dating, she's... God, I'm... I'm nothing to her. Because I am nothing. I'm just an empty shell. It's not that bad, Carl. It is. 
You hate me too. I don't hate you, Carl. What should I do? I don't know. I think you should seek help. Help? Help, yes, yes. I, I need help. That's why I'm here. Help me. I mean, from a professional. Therapy. You need someone who can really help you change. <laughs> what, so you think I'm a freak? I'm just some some weakling, some some mental defective who who should be poked and prodded by some quack who's going to tell me that I'm a closet homo who wants to fuck his mother? Have you been in therapy? Is that what they told you? No. Carl, it doesn't mean you're weak. It just means you need help. We all need help sometimes. <laughs> oh God, you must think I'm so fucking pathetic. And what did I ever see in you? You're just a cunt like the rest of them. I tried, Carl. I tried. Go. Go. Get the fuck out of here. Go. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's just... What? Yeah, it's fine. It's so fucking crazy. <sighs> Carl, I keep getting calls that people are not getting their food. What's going on? Hey, up here. Jesus, you're a weirdo. I'm giving you another chance, kid. But I get any more calls like that, you're out in your ass. Vinny doesn't see what's happening. He's gotten his piece of the pie and doesn't care about anyone else. He doesn't care about me. I'm on my own. Maybe it's all of them. Not just the women and the blacks, but everyone. Maybe the whole human race is too sick to go on. Maybe we ought to wipe the slate clean and start all over again. Son, what's going on? Carl! I've been making all my deliveries, Benny. Great. But you've been acting weird the last few days. What's going on? Keisha dumped me. So what? The whole world is just too sick to go on. Carl, you're gonna get upset over some black coons? Girls like that are a dime a dozen. We go out into the city, to the bad part of town, you throw a dart, and you find some tall glass of hot chocolate to fuck. Now go get your head out of your goddamn ass and be a man. She wasn't just any girl. She wasn't some black coons. Then go get her back. Maria, what do you want me to say? I called her the N-word, Vinny. It's too late. <laughs> you! I'll be on my powers, kid! <laughs> go clean the mats! <laughs> Come on, Keisha. Look, come on, Keisha. I'm sorry. Uh, please. Keisha. Do I need to hit call?
Carl? How'd you find out where I live? I need you to talk to Keisha for me. She told me what you said the other night when she called it quits. You expect me to go to no, bat I, for you? I, I didn't mean it, okay? I just, I, I thought things were going so well between us, it caught me by surprise. Caught you by surprise? You didn't realize all the awkwardness that was going on in her apartment the other night? I just need her to hear me out, okay? Can you just tell her to talk to me? No, because you're a racist, a homophobe, and probably all sorts of other crazy shit. You need to leave me and Keisha alone. I'm not a racist. But you're okay with being a homophobe? I love her. <laughs> Can you tell her I oh, love her? Oh, jeez. Wow. Please. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Don't touch me, man. The future is female? What? Your shirt. That's what it says, yeah. So what am I, the past? No, I'm the future. All right, good luck with that, dude. I need you to talk to Keisha. That's Courtney. not gonna happen. I'm the future. You hear me? I'm the future. I am the future. The future is Carl. It's me. I am the future. I am. I'm the future. The future is Carl.
I can't do this right now. How did you even know I was here? I came to see Kevin. I heard what happened to him. He's in a coma. On a respirator. He might not recover. Get in the car. You're in no condition to be driving right now. I'll take you to work or wherever you want to go. going on? Who's in the trunk? You had your chance, bitch. My chance for what? Your chance to treat me like a decent human being. Carl, I never treat you Another like word and I will ventilate right now, you whore. <laughs> Dumb slut. <laughs> I bet she would suck my cock right now to get out of this if I gave her the chance. Oh, but it's too late for the quiches and the Lindsays of this world. I've accepted my glorious role in this great cleansing that humanity has needed for so long. No, they should be thanking me for allowing them to see it firsthand. Is Lindsay in the trunk? Did she hear my thoughts right now? Or did I mention Lindsay to her before? Did I mention Lindsay to you before? Carl, you're talking out loud. <laughs> Make me regret taking the tape off your mouth. Be a good little girl and keep your trap shut, huh? Come on, come on, come on. There you go, yeah, yeah. Here. Here. Sit! Sit! And shut the fuck up. Would you, would you just shut up and listen to me for once? 
Okay, Carl. We're listening. <laughs> okay. Okay. There used to be a time in this world where a man, a man, um, could. <sighs> there used to be a time in this. God, fuck! God, damn it! Fucking! God, damn it! Fuck! 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 Okay. All right. There. <sighs> <laughs> there used to be a time in this world a man could go out into the world and get a job. <laughs> there used to be a time in this world when a man, a man, could go out into the world and get a job. And with this job, he could support himself a wife, half a dozen kids, maybe a dog or two. All from a job he got straight out of high school, whether he had a diploma or not. And then they sold everyone on the lie about college. And the lie that you could get a better job. If only you would get a degree and put yourself in debt. And then at the same time, the women who had grown tired of, you know, their free ride in life, decided, no, demanded, that they should go to work as well. So now, the cost of living doubles, because a couple is expected to have two incomes. And at the same time, all the niggers and the wetbacks and the fags and the trannies, they all wanted everything given to them. And as soon as they figured out how to weaponize their victimhood, we lined up to accommodate them because we felt so bad about the unfair shake they were getting. <laughs> but the pendulum has swung too far. Now, a straight, white, Christian male, what used to be called a normal person, an American, now we have to fight each other for our affirmative action allotted piece of the pie. You know, and, and the worst part is, is that they're so racked with white guilt, they buy into it. They willingly participate in the genocide of their own kind because they feel so, so guilty about slavery or, or, or smallpox blankets from 500 years ago. <laughs> oh, and make no mistake about it. The white man has been victim to an organized genocide in this country for years now. And you're all too ignorant to realize you've been complicit in it. Carl, there is no white genocide. No, the white man is under attack, under siege. Carl, people of color, women, and the LGBT community striving for equality isn't the same as oppressing white men. The time you're talking about, that wasn't a good time for people like me or, or Lindsay or Kevin. No one's trying to to wipe out white men. No, 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 no. Or no, oppress no, 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 no. them. She's trying to confuse me with her racist feminist lies. You are trying to confuse me with your racist feminist lies. No, I'm just telling the truth. No. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. Stop you from doing what? I'm going to the outlet mall. Same one where Keisha humiliated me in front of all those people. And I will bring them all to justice. And then I'm going to go to your precious little college and do the same thing. Carl, you can't. <laughs> See, I can. Sit down, slag. Come on, Carl. <laughs> You don't want to do this. I have to do this. Carl, come on. Look, I'm sorry. You came to me when you needed help and I turned you away. And I am so sorry. Look, let her go. We can forget that all of this happened. 
Let her go. We can go back to your house and hang out and watch Netflix just like we used to. Do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> what, all of a sudden you care about me now? Carl, <laughs> I never stopped caring. Tape her up. Carl! Tape her up! Come on, let's go. It's okay. Right? None of this is your fault. I am so sorry. It's okay. Do it like you made it. Too. <laughs> I'm so their profound ability to ignore the reality around them that anyone who's looking can see clear as day, I might not have discovered these truths. I might not have discovered my purpose in life. I might have gone on living in the fantasy. I might be just like you. <laughs> <laughs> 